Dio ofte sacro sur sedev por amadia fi pre camri me quai un gide nei da gaver mis hanes lhdt welcome uh, to the senev it's a uh, pleasure to host uh, this event to celebrate LGBT uh, History Month. Today we are going to hear uh, stories and reflections drawing on our shared history, not just of the uh, struggle for equality, but often for uh, visibility. And what we are going to hear is that progress isn't always easy. And this morning I want to say a few words uh, about the things that are necessary to bring about change, not just in our history, but today and tomorrow as well. Political change isn't an abstract thing. It comes from being rooted in something, rooted in a sense of your self, rooted in a community and how that shapes your values. And when we talk about communities in this building, uh, we usually mean a geographic community, a place, our home patch. But we know that community means a great deal more than that. And indeed, for many LGBT friends, they may have an ambivalent relationship with place for reasons that many of us will understand. But one thing most of us uh, have in common is that we will have felt at various times in our lives a sense of wondering about where we belong because our stories and the stories of those who came before us have been erased many, many times and have been rewritten for us. And if we can't see our story, our history, then our sense of the community that roots us, that shapes us, is diminished. And the reason that's important is because the best way to resist change is to isolate and make invisible those who seek it, to take away their sense of shared identity, shared community, shared history, to write them out of the story, if you like. So it's important today that we celebrate uh, and mark the contributions of LGBT people in creating the society that we live in today and the communities that root us all. Now, we've come uh, a long way. As we are in a place where laws uh, are made uh, in Wales, uh, we should uh, remember that we've swept away much of the legislation that has been used in the past to oppress our communities. Equal age of consent, ending the ban on LGBT, LGBT people serving in the army, uh, adoption rights, outlawing discrimination in goods and services, uh, equal marriage, all laws which brought us closer to equality. And we know how important legislative change is because we know how pernicious uh, the law can be when it's used against us. This is 30 years this year since the introduction of Section 28, uh, introduced to tackle the scourge uh, of schools teaching children that they had an inalienable right to be gay, as though they didn't. And one of the most important things that any of us can do is to help other people to be themselves. And we had a government there doing all it could to prevent that. A government not just uh, not funding the right programmes or using the wrong language, but a government going out of its way to find new ways of making the lives of gay people less tolerable. Uh, and yet here we are today gathering together in the Senev, which uh, in the last few weeks has been held up <clears throat> as an exemplar, not just in Wales, but across the UK uh, for its work to encourage uh, LGBC, uh, LGBT uh, inclusiveness. So, uh, so things can change. But we know, as uh, our predecessors uh, surely did, uh, that advance uh, is not inevitable. Uh, and we've seen just in this last week Bermuda uh, repealing equal marriage. Uh, now this is historic, it's a, it's a first, it's a new low, and this is a country that Britain has a close relationship with, but even the country that we have, it seems, a special relationship with is turning the clock back. We see in the second year of Trump, we've seemed to have forgotten all the advances that happened under Barack Obama and seeing the Supreme Court declaring equal marriage being the law of the land. Trump is, a, is an attack on progressive values and banning trans officers from serving in the military to protect their country, whose values elevates bigotry over patriotism in that way. It's a scandal and we have to, we have to police it, we have to watch it, we have to call it out. And it's happening here in the UK as well. Our trans communities under siege actually in the press, dehumanising language being used and even from supposedly progressive quarters, an easy denial of the trans experience. 
And if we are honest, not all parts of the LGBT coalition have been there for each other in the way that we would have hoped them to be at all points in our history. And today, our trans friends need us to lend them our voice, and it is our duty to stand with them in the cause of change that many of us have already benefited from. Now, all this proves that law, the law, changing the law isn't enough. And actually, on the journey to a civilised society, a legal system which doesn't have discrimination is the starting point and not the end point. And our challenge now is to embed that change, not just in the law, but in people's hearts as well. Because we do that in alliance with other people who are themselves often struggling for equality. Because equality, uh, and our call for it, is indivisible. We all benefit from that. And the idea of alliances, of different communities uh, finding shared purpose, is fundamental to the idea of modern Wales. I'm the Assembly Member for Neath which has uh, within it the communities of uh, Banwen and Onshon, which uh, have become famous to the world through the film uh, Pride. And that tells a story which is a rich part of our history. Two communities, the striking miners and the London lesbians and gays as they were then, coming uh, together. But in truth, these aren't two distinct communities, they overlap. I was uh, a gay teenager in Wales, and I was a gay man in my 20s and 30s uh, in London, and this story is a story of coming together. And it's, it's, it's a good story for modern Wales, where there are no neat boundaries, and where we search for what we have in common, but often we find that we learn as much from the differences as we do from the things which we have uh, that we share. And where our journey to equality isn't about following a path to similarity, but a road to glorious variety. Each one of us in Wales has our own story. Each one of us is different. And today, our stories, our histories, form part of modern Wales. So, at the end of it all, I find myself one of the first out LGBT members of the Assembly and one of the first LGBT members of the Welsh Government. And I'm immensely proud uh, of that. That's part of my story in a very small way, it's part uh, of our history, but that's not the important part. The important part is that as we look at our shared history today, let's remember that the lives we lead today become the history for tomorrow. And our challenge, our duty, is to leave a legacy of justice and change like those who stood up and stood up before us, left for us. Diochumar.